Hi, my name's Allison, and I'm from TechBoomers.com. Today, you're going to learn all about sharing on Facebook. The best part about Facebook is that you can share photos, status updates, news articles, videos, and even your location to your friends and family. Here's what you'll learn in this tutorial. How to post text and picture updates, how to share links on Facebook, how to share your location, and how to post directly on someone else's timeline. Status updates is the most common type of sharing on Facebook. They let your friends know how you're feeling, what you're doing, where you are, or anything else that's on your mind. To share a status update, click inside the publisher box, either on your newsfeed or in your timeline, and type whatever you want. Use the audience selector to decide who will see your post. The default choice is friends. Then click Post. Status updates will appear on your newsfeed, your friends' newsfeeds, and your timeline. In addition to text based updates, you can share photos and videos. Next to the update status at the top of the publisher is a button Add Photos slash Video. Click on that and click on either Upload Photo Video or Create Photo Album. You'll learn more details about creating a photo album in a later tutorial. Either will redirect you to your computer's files. Select a file by clicking it, then click Open. Now, do the same thing that you did when sharing a status update. Click in the publisher box and type in something to say about the photo that you chose. Click on the audience selector to choose who you want to share the photo with, and then click Post. Status updates that you post will appear on your newsfeed, and your friends' newsfeeds, and on your timeline. Find something online that you just have to share? Facebook allows you to easily share links. Just copy the web address or URL of the page that you want to share, and paste it directly into your publisher. To do this, left-click and drag until this text is highlighted. Then, right-click to bring up a drop-down menu. Then hit left click, copy. Now go back to your Facebook timeline or newsfeed. Right click inside your publisher box and then left click, paste. Notice that Facebook automatically adds a thumbnail image for you and your friends to see. So you can get a sense of what the link is about. From there, it's the same procedure as sharing a status update. Click the audience selector to select who you want to see the link and then click post. Status updates that you post will appear on your newsfeed and your friends' newsfeeds and on your timeline. Facebook also allows you to share your location in a status update to let your friends know where you are in the world. Once you click on your publisher, click the location button in the menu that appears. It's the one in the middle that looks like a point of interest marker on a map. Type the location on your keyboard to search for something more specific, such as a mall or restaurant. It works the same way as Facebook's general search tool. As you type a location, Facebook will try to match it with a place that it already knows. Once you've found the right place, just click to select it. This will add a location to your status update. Once you've found and selected the place where you are, just do the rest that you would normally do with a status update. Click on the audience selector to choose who you want to share your status update with, and then click Post. Facebook may automatically include your location in your next update. If you don't want to share your location at any time, just click X next to the location. How can you get your friend's attention? By posting directly onto a friend's timeline, you can let them know that what you have to say is meant for or about them. They'll be notified of your post. Posting on a friend's timeline is more direct, but not private. It's similar to having a loud discussion in public. Your friends and their friends will still be able to see what you've posted, and they'll be able to comment on it too. You can access someone's timeline by clicking on their name pretty much wherever you see it on Facebook. But if you haven't heard from someone for a while, or if you want to find them quickly, you can search for them. 
Click the search bar at the top of the page and start to type in your friend's name. Facebook will suggest people that have a similar name. Click on your friend when they appear to go to their timeline. Your friend's timeline will have a publisher just like yours. You can use it in a very similar way. Notice that there's no audience selector available when you post on a friend's timeline. Since it's their timeline, they're the person who gets to control who can see what appears on it, not you. If you don't want others to potentially see what you post, consider sending your friend a private message instead. We'll show you how to do this in the Facebook Messages tutorial. Once you click in it, you can write a message for them or tell them how you're feeling. You can also include a link for your friend to follow or upload a photo or video they might like. When you're done, click Post. Now you know the main ways to share on Facebook. Why don't you try sharing a link or a photo with a friend? Go ahead and get social with your friends and family. If you are on YouTube and want to follow a step-by-step -step guide for this tutorial, click here. We have many other great tutorials on techboomers.com. Click here to learn even more about Facebook. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and happy sharing.